welcome back guys to another video on my channel hope you're doing good hope you're doing well so more news to discuss yet again about this bloody algeria squad that still don't exist when's it coming out i'm guessing it's coming out on saturday the 18th of march when you look at previous squads they tend to come out either on sort of like friday afternoon or Saturday uh, early morning, early afternoon. I'm not going to lie, Friday I got Juma and then I'll be a bit busy. So I'm hoping it comes out on Saturday. Look, the game is in, literally in a week. And we still don't even know who's going to be in bloody Sidi Musa, like whatever. It's just a joke. We're the last team, even like the Faroe Islands would probably say their squad before us. Anyway, let's not digress. Today we're talking about, well, is it the end of an era? It seems to me that Belmadi has accepted a change in strategy, gone with the tried, trusted and tested Algerian born players he's decided that he finally has to give in with the binationals and I'm going to give Morocco a little bit of credit because I think Belmadi would have watched that World Cup and seen look at how many countries these Moroccan players are born in that they've managed to convince and they got to a World Cup semi semi-final you know look at the keeper Bono he's born in Canada you look at players that are born in France Spain Holland Belgium they brought in a lot of players and they integrated them with some of their local talent we need to be doing more of that so you know, it's good that we've changed strategy, but as much as I love what some of these players, these three players we're going to talk about have given us, is it time to move on? And I can't lie, I'm getting a bit annoyed about people being afraid of letting go of players. Yes, you have to stick with legends and stuff, but, you know, Sir Alex Ferguson, when he kept winning titles at Manchester United, he said, the best time to buy players is when you're at your peak, when you're at the top. Like, I don't... I don't care who's leaving the team. I want to know who's coming in. I want to know who's coming in. Do you know what I mean? I want to see Amin Guri. I want to see Rayan Shirky. I don't care about Benny Arda. I don't. I actually don't. With respect. He didn't even win AFCON. He won a bloody Arab Cup. Do you know what I mean? Look at Zafan, Faguli, Guardiola. These are people that won our stuff. Yassine Brahimi. These are, like, these are people I'd go, yeah, Fauzi Gulam, yeah. Yeah, I miss him. But Benny Arda. But it ain't. Do me a favour, love. Do you know what I mean? So, Raisin Bulhi, Issa Mandy, and Yusuf Belayli are rumoured to be not in this squad. Rumoured. Now, I literally spoke the other day about Belayli and how I think it's time to let go of him. I've got nothing against the guy. I don't disrespect the guy. He brought me some of my happiest mo moments, right? The AFCON, when we won it, him and Buddha Jah with that Wahrani connection were unplayable in the whole of Africa. No one could get near them. They were unstoppable. Yeah, and he, their time has gone. Belayli, Bunajah's not even here anymore. And Belayli should have sort of stepped aside when Bunajah did, to be honest. Um, so, you know, I spoke already about Belayli with the Bar in the Rahma debate. It's not a, uh, a big deal because I sort of, I wanted that. And also, the guy's a troublemaker. He left his club, Brestois, about some nonsense. But Mardi has alluded to again that in the last international call-up, Belayli caused trouble at the hotel. He brought friends, family when he shouldn't have. No one else did. Can't be having that in the dressing room. Blamardi, it's his way or the highway. So Yusuf, thanks for the memories. It's time to say goodbye. Rice and Bolhi. I don't want to let go of the guy. I don't. Do we really have to get rid of him? I mean, yes, no longer the number one. But to have him in that squad, you, Azadine Ducha, let me tell you about Ducha when we won AFCON. Azadine Ducha, he was crucial as the third keeper for the vibes, in the dressing room vibes. I think Rice and Bolhi would be good with that. And also, the younger keepers can learn from him. He's been the keeper for 12 bloody years. You can't just get rid of him. But he shouldn't be the number one anymore. Mandrea, Zugba, Okija. There's, there's keepers coming through. And Mandy I'm in the middle with because he's barely played. And I'm all for not picking players that are barely playing. We might not even say Awai yet because he's barely played. Mandy's barely played any football, barely started any games for Villarreal. And to expect him to be fully fit and on it with Algeria is a bit tough. We've got two bub, we've got two guy. I think Zinedine Belaid from Yusma is going to come. And I think we might see Ben Sabaini. We may well see Ben Sabaini as a centre-back. And the left-backs will be Eight Nori and uh, Jetawan Hajim from Nantes. If we have Eight Nori and Hajim and Ben Sabaini left centre-back, a player he's played in before at an AFCON, I think that works well. We've, we've got Eight Nori in and Hajim. And we need to find ways to adapt. And Ben Sabaini can come at centre-back. Look at David Alaba. He plays everywhere for Austria. He plays centre-back, left-back, midfield. We can adapt with the players. So... Thanks for the memories, guys, but it's time to say goodbye. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Amin Guri. There's a video floating around of him saying, Inshallah, maybe why not? I think it's a bit of a... 
I'd love it. We need a striker. I don't think the video is new, though. I don't think the video is new. Um, comments down below. Leave comments. Always welcome on here on this channel. Talk about Algerian football. We'll wait for the squad soon, inshallah. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.